Ah, oui, je peux me présenter aussi, de coup, je suis Alexandre. Euh, bah, J'ai commencé à peu près en même temps que Raphaël, autour de 2018, euh, sur le, le projet qui est Hunger Game, et que je vais vous présenter là. Oh, uh, so, sorry, just because I, I didn't, I, I can do it in English, no problem. Uh, so I started in uh, 2018, like uh, Raphael, but only on the, the front end side, so what uh, people are using to make annotation fastly based on to what Robotov is uh, predicting. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, please copy this. The <laughs> It's the slide to remove that I did not remove. Now you know what we had. Uh, okay, so that's how you interacted most of the time if you're using the main website uh, with Robotov. It's a small question below the product saying yes, no, or skip, and then nothing. Uh, you go back to the main site, and uh, nothing changed there. You stopped annotating. And the Hunger Game uh, vision is just you see the picture in which the from which we detected the, the question. So for example, here on Nutri-Score B, you have a picture with a Nutri-Score B, and you just have to say yes or no. And the trick is that the website will move to a new product with the same question. So you just have to keep in mind, is it Nutri-Score B? Yes, 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 no, yes, yes. And then you can annotate. Uh, sorry? Yes, uh, and you annotate quite a lot. So that was the first uh, idea, but we have a, a lot of way to, to improve that. So people are asking what they can uh, annotate, what will be useful. There is about the customizing of interfaces because you're not all looking for the same stuff. And also a lot of uh, way to, to improve uh, the speed at which you can do a next, next, next and finish. Okay, so for example, Robotov met a lot of predictions. So for example, all the labels, all the categories, you can detect smaller string into the, the character recognition, but not all of them are very useful. Um, you can go to the next one. So for example, if you want the echo score, what is interesting is for example, the, it's an organic product because it brings you some points, but the fact that it's uh, recyclable uh, with green, green dot is not even recyclable. So It does not bring anything for the echo score, so you can skip some uh, question and focus only on the, the meaningful ones. So it leads to the following games, which is a uh, echo score, and you have only the labels that are interesting with a small chip to say to you, hey, there is some question remaining, can give some help uh, for us. If you want to do something else than EcoScore, of course, you can. For example, me, I'm interested in checking that Nutri-Score are correctly in adequation between what we compute and what is onto the product. So we need to know what is onto the product. So all the Nutri-Score that are detected are into my home page. And when there is too much uh, unannotated, I answer the questions. So uh, I don't know what is the next slide. Yes, how to do that if you're not interested uh, by Nutri-Score. So here you have uh, the way to modify uh, the, filter, the question you want to answer. So uh, which kind of value, which kind of question. And then you have a little star, and it will put into your home screen those little cards saying, OK, that's what interests you. That's how many remains to answer. So you have five minutes into the subway. You can open your, your smartphone and answer what is interesting for you. Um, the Nutri-Score is not always easy, so we made kind of a mixing between a fast annotation and the, the logo game. The idea being that you only see Nutri-Score and then it becomes super fast to annotate. For example, you could say from uh, this image to the end of the row, it's all good. You just do two clicks and you annotate 10 uh, pictures. And it's a lot to speed a lot The, the annotation uh, task. Uh, for example, I, in fact, I, I did that for my own uh, usage at the beginning, and uh, I think I have the figures after. Yes, for, uh, when I started, there was 6K question about Nutri-Score, so I took an hour with uh, this tool, and it was uh, over. So 
the, <laughs> the, the goal being to, to bring new questions so that uh, people interested in uh, such a notation can do the, the same. Um, I don't know what was next. Um, yes, we started with uh, Google Summer of Code to allow people to interact uh, with the core team because sometimes you're annotating a product and you see a picture that has nothing to do uh, in it. Uh, for example, uh, you see a, a SOAP a picture into, a, into a, a meal product. So you say, okay, so it has nothing to do here. So you have a little flag that will report the, the image to be uh, removed or moved to the correct uh, product. And the, the idea in the next step will be, for example, to be able to ask a question. For example, uh, I see, uh, I'm asking, is it a coffee? And I, f I found a product which is uh, nice with coffee flavor. Should I say yes? Should I say no? So usually you skip the question. Now you will be able to, to click onto the ideal solution will be you click onto a button and you say, I don't know what to do, and then you will get the answer from uh, someone from the taxonomy team. Uh, what was this slide? <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, something I realized uh, yesterday is that uh, Hunger Game is made uh, for you for a kind of very stupid public, very uh, empowering, simple uh, consumer to uh, um, contributor to say yes, no. But it's also a, a flexible tool for a massive annotation. And so if you see something that is uh, not relevant, that could be improved, or something that could help you into your day-to-day -day, uh, cleaning or data quality uh, analysis, don't hesitate to send a message onto the Slack channel, open a GitHub issue onto a Hunger Game uh, repository, because for now it's mostly uh, me, Raphael, Pierre, and Alex, and we are mostly focused onto the technical aspect and we need your insights uh, to make it more powerful. And that's all for me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very interesting. And uh, I was wondering, um, maybe I've, I missed it, but I think the using Hunger Game on the phone is a very good usage, and I thought it was only available on the web so far. Oh. So my question is uh, how responsive it is, and is it available in the contribution uh, section on the app? I don't uh, Yes, Pierre will be more aware. Uh, so I will let you answer on the responsive thing. Uh, the good thing is that we have plans to integrate it within the app. So the first integration that's coming in the next week or so will be just a simple link to Hunger Game from the contribute section of the app. But we plan on more extensive integration. And uh, yes, it's responsive, uh, more or less. Great. You the, the, the problem of Hunger Game is that it allows you to be really fast at annotation, so we needed to be sure that we, we do that only for people that are logged in before uh, pushing contributors from the app to the, to the tool. My question was, uh, where do I find Hunger Games? And Pierre On answered. to uh, hunger.openfoodfact.org. Hunger Okay, hunger.openfoodfacts.org for whoever did it. May the odds be ever be in your favor. Yes, may, may. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would it be a way to um, also uh, not... Um, uh, don't, um, uh, like to... Um, go back to the last question and not save the answer uh, directly, so uh, if you make a mistake, you can... Uh yes, it's uh, recently added. In fact, you have a, a batch of uh, five seconds. Um, if you go onto, that's the limit of the responsivity. If it's onto your desktop, you will see a free section, the question, the other information about the product, 
over pictures, uh, over data we already have, and the, um, the question you just answered. And so you have two possibilities. Either you click onto the link of the question, and so you access to the product page, and you can uh, correct what you did. Or if you are fast, during the five uh, first seconds, you can just revert what you did uh, before. OK. No. So, uh, it's a more, um, uh, I'm not sure about it. Uh, which, um, right now, it was born on Robotov. But uh, I know you, you've done some research, for example, for uh, quality uh, edition. That, I mean, it's an annotation tools. And uh, right now, it annotates what comes from Robotov. But it could, for example, uh, be a larger tool that annotates also things from uh, yes. that comes from the server. Um, the technological part is that we are not the main website. so. We don't need to be careful when we do a deployment, etc., or at least less than the website which is uh, facing all the public audience. So we can say, uh, OK, we want to try uh, this new technique of annotation. Uh, let's add a page, uh, add it a bit, and uh, send the link to the contributors, and uh, yeah. we can move faster. So that was to say, uh, if someone wants to do something which is outside the Hunger Game, but which is a yes. productive tool for uh, for contributors, it can be submitted to Hunger Game. Uh, not uh, everything is feasible, but uh, I know that Alexandre did some prototypes. For example, when you have a, an action, a task with two, you uh, did the prototype. Yes, we, we try to tailorize the, some of the task. Uh, for example, for uh, cropping a nutrition image when we was doing some kind of research. Uh, and uh, the last question is that. Do you see that Robotov can also, we, because we talked about it uh, some one year ago or so, uh, we also need uh, tools, we would need tools for moderators for right now, they just receive a Slack um, notifications, but there is no way to say, I, I, I've um, checked these notifications, for example, when there is uh, an image which uh, might be wrong. So do you think it, it's, it's, it could be part of our game, or do you think it's a complete different problem and uh, how you see it? I think we can start with Hunger Game because we have the infrastructure and then when it's mature and we proved that it's uh, useful for the community, we, we switch between two, two distinct tools, the easy one for uh, overs and the moderators one. Uh, cool. Um, I have a question. So I, I think th this, the app is not like on the Play Stores? It's not, in fact, it's just a, a website. Oh, and would it be really difficult to make it into an app and have it on the Play, Play Store in case someone starts to use it a lot? Uh, I think normally you can install it from, to, from your browser because it's a web application, but it's not very useful because you you always need to be connected to Robotov to get the question, and you need to be connected to either Robotov or OpenFoodFact to send your answers. There is no kind of uh, catching and sending uh, it later or stuff like that, so it's not really uh, a need, but you can, uh, depends of your browser, but there is a button to, to add a small icon into your mobile phone like an app that directly opens the... the web. <laughs> So to add a little bit on what uh, Alexandre just said, we are going to try and integrate Hunger Game with uh, the all the other open food fact uh, thing. So for instance, there is a path from the website to Hunger Game. When you go from uh, to the category facet, uh, for instance, let's say you're on the beef lasagne page, uh, there's probably a link or a button we can show to say, okay, do you want to categorize more beef lasagne? So we, we have to put like little uh, road towards Hunger Game. Currently, Hunger Game is like a connoisseur uh, thing. So you have to know the URL. Anka, for instance, didn't, uh, wasn't aware of it. Uh, so we are going to try and integrate Hunger Game in the mobile app, but also on the main website, so that more and more people can uh, like be poor user. Do I throw the box? Does anyone and want not to? Uh, on the head of this person. And Alex, <laughs> Alex, you are just a contributor, like you contribute. Uh, that's my main that contribution. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you. Thank you.